another let's consider another similar exercise which is the computation of the splitting field for the, co the, the polynomial and the Galois group specifically we consider the extension of q by an element alpha which is given by the square root of this number and we want to show again that this is a splitting field for this polynomial here let's call it f And um, we compute the Galois group of this extension and show that this is uh, isomorphic to a group of order 4, which is not uh, cyclic. So it's a direct product of two cyc cyclic group of other two. So this is what we want to show. I will use essentially the same argument as in the previous exercise. So here, well, okay, how, why is this the splitting field? By taking the definition of alpha here, if I square it and uh, I multiply by two, I get this identity which I square again so we get 4 times alpha power 4 plus 4 alpha square plus 1 plus uh, 15 which is plus 16 equal to 0 and you see that if you factor out 4 uh, this is precisely the polynomial f evaluated at alpha so alpha is a root of f and of course uh, also minus alpha since f is a even polynomial and similarly you can check that uh, f2 uh, over alpha so this is another root because you can do the couple of algebraic steps you can easily prove that this is can be written as 4 over alpha times uh, power 4 f of alpha which obviously is 0 and for the same reason f of minus 2 over alpha is 0 so here we have polynomial of degree 4 and these are four distinct roots and we can conclude that uh, l is a splitting field so f totally splits uh, inside this extension. So let me write it L, which is extension of Q by alpha is a splitting field for f so about the, the Galois group what we can say is that the so the group g the order of this is bounded by the degree of l over q which you can easily verify it's 4 you can also see that f is uh, irreducible as a polynomial over q by showing for example that it cannot uh, split as a, a product of two quadrics and so obviously it cannot be otherwise since the roots are not in q so um, then just as before we can observe that g 
acts on class duty on the set of roots. So we can we can choose say two elements, let's call them phi five sigma g and we choose them so that alpha by phi is sent to minus alpha and sigma sends alpha to uh, two over alpha so we choose the action in this way or the, we choose two elements which act in this way then one one uh, we verify readily that they are both elements of order two um, well sigma square of alpha is is uh, clearly sigma of two over alpha which is given by two over sigma of alpha and which is equal to 2 over 2 over alpha which is alpha so you can also verify well this is enough to conclude that um, g contains the two these two elements and therefore is generated by these, by these two elements, says the, the order of G is at most four. And we are talking about a group of order four with two um, elements which are of order two, and the only group with this property is the product of the cyclic group of order two with itself. <laughs>